How to install Twerp Recovery and root the Xiaomi Poco F1 running MIUI 12. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Twerp Recovery and root your Poco F1 running MIUI 12 without any data loss. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? The only prerequisite for this video is that you need to have an unlocked bootloader and the other thing you need is a computer. All the files which we are going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video and for starters we can go into settings and about phone. As you can see I am running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. Next up we can go into the gallery application and as you can see I do have a picture of my friend Lord Vader and this is something which we can use to verify that I had no data loss. Is this process going to work on me UI 11? Yes, this process is going to work on me UI 11 as well. Next thing we need to do is we will go into settings and then we'll go into password and security and make sure you remove your password, fingerprint and face unlock. Why are we removing all these security measures? Well, we are doing this because I don't want you to run into any encryption issues and then perform a format data wherein you will lose all your data. Next up, we can also go into privacy and you will see that for me, my device right now is encrypted because encryption and credentials says that phone is encrypted. Next thing we can do is turn off my device and check what is the current recovery I have. So I will power off my device and then press volume up and power button at the same time till we see the recovery. And there it is. As you can see, I currently have Xiaomi's Mi Recovery. It says right here, Mi Recovery 3.0. I will just press the power button to reboot my device and then reboot back to system. Back into MIUI, we can unlock our device. And as you can see, I'm still on MIUI 12. And what are the files which we need on our phone? So here are the files which you need on your phone. You need the Magisk zip file and then you need the twerp recovery image file. We are going to follow a different process and I will tell you why we are following a different process. So make sure you have transferred these two files to your device. One is magisk and then the twerp image file. Next up, we need to boot into fast boot mode. For that, the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device. And once you've turned your device off, you need to press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till you see the fast boot logo. Again, volume down, and power button at the same time till you see the fast boot logo and bam there it is you can see that we have booted our poco f1 into fast boot mode at this point what you need to do next is connect your device to your computer using the usb cable which was provided to you now moving over to the computer you will see that i have platform tools which is my adb and fast boot it is in a zip file and then i also have the twerp recovery image file for the poco f1 and of course, as I mentioned earlier, links to all of these can be found in the description of this video. So the first thing you need to do is unzip the platform tools. Now, once you have unzipped platform tools, you will see that we have a folder here called platform hyphen tools. If I go inside this folder, you will see that I have ADB over here and I also have fast boot in this folder. Next thing we're going to do is we will go back and we are going to Take this file, which is the twerp recovery image file for the Poco F1 and put it inside the platform tools folder. Now, if we go back into platform tools, you will see that I have twerp recovery image file for the Poco F1 right here. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to rename this file. So we're going to rename it to twrp hyphen poco dot img is the default extension. And let me add in r over there so i renamed the file because it just makes it easier for me to type in the name next thing windows users need to open command prompt over here or you can also open powershell so what you do is you go inside the folder where you have all the files press down the shift key and then right click and then you will have the option of opening either command prompt or powershell over here mac and linux users need to open terminal and navigate to this folder now once we have opened terminal command prompt or powershell whatever you are comfortable with terminal and powershell users need to enter the command ls space hyphen al and then you're going to press the 
enter key this is going to list all the contents of the current folder we are in dos or command prompt users need to enter dir space slash p so right now you can see that here in this folder i have the twerp image file for the poco f1 note down the name in my case it is twrp-poco.img in certain cases on windows you do end up with .img, .img and then we also have the fastboot file over here so which means we are in the correct folder the next command which we need to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in fastboot mode or not now terminal and powershell users need to enter dot slash before the command those of you who are using command prompt do not need to enter dot slash and the command for that is fast boot devices once you have entered the command press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode now the next command we're going to execute is to boot the twerp recovery which we have downloaded on the poco f1 and the command for that is fast boot boot and name of the file in my case name of the file is twrp-poco.img and there it is once you have entered the command all you need to do is press the enter key and as you just saw our device rebooted and it should now boot into twerp recovery there it is you can see that we have successfully booted into twerp recovery at this point you can disconnect your device from your computer so as you can see we are in twerp recovery and now let me tell you what is the different method which we are using and why we booted into twerp recovery first well let me first go into install and as you can see everything is looking absolutely fine the folder names are fine it's not like a bunch of characters which you do not recognize this means that this twrp supports encryption and that is why we first booted into it we could have flashed to a recovery and then booted into it but if you had any encryption issues then you would have to find the stock recovery for poco f1 and then flash that well with my method we first boot into to a recovery make sure encryption is working and then you follow the next steps so what are the next steps from the home screen of to up go into install select install image now navigate to the folder where you have transferred the files which was your magisk and the twerp image file i transferred it manually so it is in the root directory in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder the first step is to select this twrp image file and on the next screen select recovery and then swipe to confirm flash once this is done press the home button go into reboot and select recovery so as you can see we booted back into twerp recovery do not select system over there because if you select system you'll boot into miui and then you'll have to fast boot boot into twerp again next thing we're going to do is go into install and now you need to select the magisk file which you have downloaded and then swipe to confirm flash now i know i will get a lot of questions that what if i do not select the magisk file and flash it well in that case as soon as you boot into me ui your twerp recovery will be replaced with stock me recovery and that is why we need to flash magisk because it stops that replacement of twerp recovery with stock me recovery now once the magisk file has flashed successfully all you need to do is reboot back into system back into me ui we can unlock our device go into settings about phone is still on me ui 12 open the gallery application we should have a picture of my friend lord vader there it is we still have the picture of lord vader we can also go into settings and password and security go into privacy you will see that encryption and credentials phone is still encrypted next up open your application drawer you should have magisk manager in case you do not have magisk manager all you need to do is download the magisk manager apk and install it using file manager let us open magisk manager here it is magisk is up to date let me change the theme to normal go back into magisk magisk is up to date device is rooted we can also check for safety net to see whether it is passing or not and of course safety net is not passing which means you might have to go into settings and use magisk hide here is the option for magisk hide 
Oh, and before I forget, we can also turn off our device and check whether we have twerp recovery or not. So to boot into twerp recovery, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo. And bam, there it is. You can see that we are booting into twerp recovery, which means our twerp recovery was not replaced with stock me recovery. We can go into install as well. Everything is absolutely fine. And there it is peeps. That is how you install twerp recovery and root your POCO F1 running MIUI 12. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.